Oh guys, look at it snow. It's 6.30 p.m. Got a hot cup of coffee. Watching the snow fall. I was gonna go check my mail. Uh, but it's cold out here. Welcome to the vlog. Hi friends. Just got back from Target. I needed a couple of things that I get at Target. Apparently we're getting like all kinds of snowy weather next week. I don't know. But I get my coffee creamer <laughs> at Target. And if I'm going to be a week in this house stuck, I need to make sure, sorry, I'm putting it in the fridge. I need to make sure that I have enough. And this stuff lasts for a very long time. Ooh. But I need to make sure I had enough cream for my coffee. You know, I gotta do that. And it's actually the best deal at Target. And then I got three Gatorade Zeros because, you know, I needed something to drink. And I like Gatorade Zero on occasion. And it was 10 for 10 today. And then the best deal, I'm telling you guys, you gotta watch for these signs, $3 off. This um, is user freeze by the 14th. So in two days. So they had a $3 off. So I got these each for $2.99 a pound, which is an amazing deal for organic ground beef. Um, so I grabbed three of them. I may run in tomorrow and see. I've gotten them before on the day and it was $5 off. So I paid 99 cents a pound. So I did that. My soap dispenser broke, so I picked up one in the dollar spot, and I have cat hair on it already. Guys, my life. For $3, mine broke, and I didn't have one. Did that, and then, what? Um, Lily's Chocolate, if you didn't know, is um, it's no sugar added. This is actually sweetened with erythritol and stevia. And these are little peanut butter cups. Dark chocolate, they have milk chocolate and dark. I get the dark, zero sugar, sugar added, botanically sweetened with stevia, dark and rich. Um, you get, I ate one already. I'm not cheap, I'm gonna tell you. So I, you get six bars, <laughs> six bars, six of these little candies for $5. Um, so definitely it's not something I will buy all the time, but to have a little treat on occasion, I do enjoy Lily's. I buy their chocolate chips a lot. I didn't know, and they have candy bars, but I didn't know they had pre-packaged. And for portion control, these net out, I don't count fiber, but there are seven carbs, but five sugar alcohols. So it's two two carbs for me for this. I get to subtract the sugar alcohols. I don't get to subtract the fiber. Some people do, I don't. So, and it's 11 grams of fat. So this is a really good keto snack. And this would be a great thing for me to bring when I'm bike riding. So I could bring a couple of these and maybe some like beef jerky or something. And that'll be a good snack for me to have on my bike ride. So there's that. And time to feed the cats. So I was so excited to find it. Like I said, I mean, it's $5 for that. Um, so it's definitely not something I'm going to be buying every day or eating every day and putting, I'm cleaning my kitchen too while I'm talking to you. So, um, like I said, we're supposed to be getting a lot of weather. I've got to work tomorrow a little bit in the morning. So I figured I would go to Target after work this evening. And then um, I'm getting the cats fed here too. I will, um, 
I know, baby, you're hungry. I would run to Target tonight. In the morning, I'll get up and run to Aldi before they close. And I think I have a package at the post office. I give Wellington a little bit of coconut oil. He really likes it. It's good for his coat, too. Alex doesn't care for it, which is fun because then I can put it in Wellington's food and he eats it up. And then Alex doesn't eat all the extra because he's got oh, he's bad. You want to say hi? Come here. Ugh. Ugh. Let me just tell you, this is a big boy. Hi, you say hi, Alex. You don't like it? Oh, he's like, um, I'm going to need that food, lady. Hi, baby. You say hi? Say hi. All right, I will feed you. All right. And by the way, I just give them, and it is safe for pets. I can't have the Dollar Tree, and this is 100% pure refined coconut oil, solid. They like it. Ugh, now I got fur all over me. Okay, guys, I got things to do. I changed my whole bed. Let me tell you what a good workout is. I have on my, I have a queen size bed. I got a messy hair today too. And I have flannel sheets on the bed, because burr, it's cold. Then I have a queen size, it's a featherless down, and over it, I have a flannel duvet. Then on top, I have a king size featherless down with a flannel duvet and six pillows on my bed. And I washed it all today. I, I put all the duvets off. I don't do that every week. I do change my sheets weekly, cats fur all over my bed. I do my pillowcases weekly too, because cats fur on my pillows. But my allergies have been really bad and I'm starting to think it's the cat dander. So I ripped my whole bed apart today. Let me tell you, that was a workout, getting those duvet covers, especially with all the flannel. It doesn't like to slide. So I did that today. It took my morning break, lunch, and afternoon little break to get everything put together. But I did. So now I have a fresh bed. I'm going to go around and wash all the cat's blankets and lint roll some places where they sleep and see if I can get some of the fur. And then I'm gonna go on Amazon and I'm gonna order a um, HEPA filter for my furnace. And I'm hoping that combination and vacuum all my floors and sweep all my floors. I'm, I mean, I do this anyway, but I'm gonna get kind of deeper with it and I'm gonna change all my filters and vacuum out some vents. And I'm hoping that will help with my allergies. Now, do you wanna hear a loud kitty? What, are you hungry? You hungry? Like this cat doesn't eat all day. What? Tell me. Oh, there you go, baby. All right, I'm gonna go feed the kitties. Hi, guys. It's Saturday morning. I am running my errands today. And I came to Lancaster. Lancaster. Now, depending where you live in the country, it could be Lancaster but here they call it Lancaster, and I have been corrected. Okay, so I needed a couple things. Target, I'm so excited because I found almost everything I was looking for in three stops. Um, Target in the Bullseye's Playground for their spring collection has um, removable wallpaper. And I wanted this specific one for in front of my craft table for when I video crafts and I can use it to take pictures. So I did that. Got it. Found it. And, um, oh, and they also had some Easter Bunny salt and pepper shakers that I wanted. Done. Done and done. Done with the Target spot for now. Then I needed the Dollar Tree, which so it all began at eight o'clock when I was like, well, I could go to Target, but nothing else opens till nine. My Aldi and my Dollar Tree. So I came to Lancaster, Lancaster. Then I ran to the Dollar Tree and they had their Easter candy out. Woohoo! And I got some name brand fun stuff to show you in the Easter candy department. Because... I love doing videos with the name brand candy. I don't think I do one for Valentine's Day. I know I always do one for Christmas. Either way, I got some for, for Easter that I'm starting to collect up for my niece, Sarah, and my little cousins, Riley and Abby, and probably their mom and dad, Debbie and Eric, because I love them. 
So need to get my Easter stuff together. I also got Easter egg dye because I'm gonna do a comparison on the Dudley kits. Like how well does the Dudley kit work versus the Paws, P-A-A-S. We're gonna try, we're gonna, we're gonna do some experimenting um, on some egg dye kits. So I grabbed one more kit. I do need to get a Paws brand kit. I can pick those up anywhere. So I did pretty good at the Dollar Tree. And then I ran over to Aldi. Aldi wasn't quite as exciting. <laughs> so this whole thing is I'm trying to avoid the snow tomorrow. It's going to start snowing, I guess, in the afternoon at some point tomorrow afternoon early evening in Columbus area where I live so I have a band-aid guys I have a, my finger cracked I need to take this one off but anyway um so the weather it's going to start snowing tomorrow in the afternoon and we're going to get one to three inches tomorrow now this is what my weatherman tells me this storm front that's blowing through the Midwest if it goes three inches east or miles sorry a couple miles east in this trajectory we're gonna get slammed with a ton more snow so right now they're forecasting one to three inches on Sunday uh, three to four inches all day Monday and then overnight another uh, an additional two to three inches so overall seven to ten inches I guess in my area forecasts so he said if this storm moves a little east we're gonna get way more than that if it goes a little west in its trajectory then we're gonna get ice I don't know which is better to be quite frank I don't like either one I mean I don't not like it I will enjoy my house tomorrow with my fireplace and my cats. So my goal today is to get my grocery shopping done and all my errands that I usually like spread out over the weekend, get them all done today and make sure I have enough food and drink and coffee and cream for the cats, for me, the whole shebang. So I took another little inventory. The cats have plenty of wet food. They have plenty of dry food. For I'm just anticipating I don't want to be out of the house for a week. Because um, it's just sloppy and messy out there. And I give the road crews time. So I needed to hit the grocery store. Went to Aldi. Got meats and cheese. Uh, stuff to make some homemade pizza. Eggs to dye. Because I think I'm going to do that this weekend or this week. And yeah, the only thing is I'm going to have to run back to Aldi, I don't have to run back, but I'm going to run back to Aldi in the morning. Um, if you know anything about me, I eat pork rinds. I love them. And I actually use my pork rinds to make nachos, which is one of the meals I want to have this week. And they didn't have any pork rinds. Like, what? You're out of pork rinds? They have uh, this, I think it's Clancy brand. They're like 89 cents, 99, 79. I don't remember, but I like them. They're great. So I usually buy about four bags. They're smaller than a regular bag, but I usually buy those. They were out. So, and I know tomorrow I saw on the ad, they're supposed to have a dill pickle and a sweet chili. I need those too. So I'll probably wait till the morning and go back to... Aldi by my house first thing nine o'clock just go get that it's literally like I could walk there it's a block from my house but other than that I want to have all the things in my house um yeah so we're gonna do that I'm going to what else did I have to do oh here it is I can show you I'm driving now, but this is removable wallpaper. It's like a wall cling. It sticks to your wall, but it's not permanent, and I want to put it in my craft room on one wall. Maybe I'll frame it out, but nothing, no time soon, because um, I'm not leaving my house. 
So yeah, that was it. It's only 10 o'clock, so I've been on the road for about two hours, and I have almost all of my errands run. I've got plenty of meat in the freezer, so that's a non-issue. And I just got, I did get some like lunch meat, some salami type stuff that I just nibble on. I got more cheese to cut up because I love cheese. I think I have everything else I need at home. So I believe we are going to run home, put all this away. I really want to work in my craft room today. It is atrocious. And it's more so a mess because I dragged everything out of the closet that I neatly tucked in the closet because it's a mess in there and I really need to get that under control. So I'm doing some purging, some giving away, some things that are going to go to my cousins so they can have fun with, with their friends and yeah, and my niece for her students. My desk is all tidied and cleaned out the drawer, well, my personal side of my desk. I have, my desk is from Ikea and it has two Alex drawers as the supports on either side and there's a glass top. Each side has five drawers. My right side is personal. So it's my planner stuff, my budgeting stuff, my YouTube stuff, um, pens, pencils, all that's on the right side in the drawers and each topic has its own drawer. The left side is work. It's a mess. I've got stuff everywhere. So I need to really go through that side and tidy it up and pull out stuff I don't need anymore or it's just junk. I need to go through it and get rid of that. So the work side needs to get taken care of. But mostly right now, I'm just putting away um, craft stuff and kind of purging. I did really good. I pulled out my Christmas and my Halloween's giving totes and I purged and got them down into two small-ish drawers in a plastic drawer set up. I have a Christmas drawer and I have a Halloween's giving drawer of just stuff I use when I craft for next season and I got rid of a lot of stuff that I just have been holding on to for no reason at all. So yeah. So there we go, I'm on my way home. It's actually snowing a little bit today, which I don't think we're getting any accumulation. I think we're just getting flurries today. And then uh, the storm front will come through tomorrow and I will video it for next week's vlog. We are going to take a, if we get the snow I think we're getting, we're gonna take some video of what it looks like. Because in, in my area in Ohio, so I live pretty, Metro. I live right outside of Columbus, but we're a city, and cities don't tend to get as much snow as the rural area, so it'll be interesting if we get slammed with snow, how it's going to look outside, and it's usually very pretty, especially when you don't have to go out, but if you can see behind me over here, the snow so typically around here, we'll get a good snow. It'll melt, snow, melt, snow, melt. Because of weather, you know, the temperatures fluctuate. It's just been cold. It hasn't been above 30 in a week since the last snowfall. That's the other thing that's going to make this storm a little different is it's piling on top of snow that's already frozen solid. So if your road was frozen and icy and more snow or ice comes, it just makes it worse. So that's what it's going to be like. Not the end of the world. I've got, may go to Walmart and pick up some more logs for my fire. I'm down to the, I didn't buy enough firewood this year. Who knew I was going to love fire so much when I was home. And just for the record, yes, I just had my chimney cleaned. The chimney sweeps were there and nobody sang chim chimney to me while they were cleaning my chimney, which was rude. But my chimney guys were just here. My chimney is fine, it's they cleaned it, and there's no damage, there's no, nothing needs attended to, so I'm good to go. But I have three, lo three Duraflame logs left, and I have probably enough wood for three more fires, so I'm, I'll be fine. I don't need any more, I don't need to go to the Walmarts. All right, let's go home. It's cooking time. <laughs> Hello. I'm getting ready to make my a meal for this week and I am making it's called egg roll in a bowl crack slaw 
there's lots of names for it, but basically it's keto friendly. You take some type of ground meat. You take some spices and you add cabbage. And it makes like an, what's in the center of an egg roll. You're cutting out all the carbs, the wrappers and all of that. So I use all the breakfast sausage. It's so flavorful and spicy and it kind of just has all the base flavors that I like. So I have that, it's gonna be cooking up here. I have a half an onion that I had already cut up for another meal this week. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. You know, waste not, want not. I wouldn't eat a whole onion in a meal. This will last me, you know, several meals. So I'm not worried about the carbs too much in this onion. But I'm gonna cook all of this down. I gotta get my meat chopper out. Because I think that'll be better right now than a wooden spoon. I'll go back to the spoon after the meat's cooked. But you wanna get your whatever uncooked vegetables. You could add carrots to this. You could add whatever you have in your refrigerator that needs to be cooked up. I'm thinking I'm going to get ready here and chop up some asparagus to mix in here as well because I have a whole bag of it that needs to be eaten. It's like a catch-all. It's honestly like scavenger soup or something. So I bought asparagus last week. I'm gonna chop it up and get it in here because it'll take a little while to cook. But once this meat is cooked, I have some uh, spices I'm gonna use. So I have some ginger and garlic, um, a little bit of paprika, and then I'm gonna add a little cayenne for spice. Now I use liquid aminos. This is all purpose seasoning. It's um, soy sauce alternative. There's no sugars in this and there's no gluten. Soy sauce has gluten. So if you're gluten intolerant, liquid aminos works. It's a little, it's a little less salty, sweeter or something. It's made out of coconut. So it has a different, a little bit of a different feel to it and, than a soy sauce, but works fine for me. And then I always put a packet of sweetener in here. A lot of Asian foods add sugar and you know, your palate, tends to like to that thought, the thought of the sweetness. So I always just add, um, I'm gonna cut over here while I'm talking. I always add a little bit of a packet of sweetener at the end. And I'm not putting this whole bag in here. I'll cook up some of this later, but I think that should be enough. Now, if you wanna know how where to cut, a asparagus when you snap it like that this is the fibrous end it's more tender to the top at the top here so what i do i snap one cut off the ends and then i know that all my fibrous ends are gone oh this is a knife that was sent to me um missin i think is the brand m-i-s-s-e-n i love this knife it's really nice I appreciate it. All right. Now we'll drop that in there. And let that cook on, cook with the um, onion and the beef or the pork. You could do this. I made it with hamburger. If you use an unseasoned meat, like plain ground pork, ground turkey, ground chicken, ground beef, perfectly acceptable. But then what you just want to add more spices to it is all I would say to get that, you know, a good flavor profile. I'm using a pre-seasoned sausage, so I don't necessarily need as much spice. And does an egg roll have asparagus in it? Probably not, but does mine? Sure does, because it's mine. Yeah, so that's it. I'm just gonna let this cook up. I think I can add my spices now. Literally, I'm so fancy. I have squeezed ginger. Ooh, and that's all I'm adding. Was that a tablespoon? Sure, it was a tablespoon, we'll call it. And we'll do an equal amount of garlic. 
I uh, typically get the garlic and olive oil. I am just a personal preference. I'm not even adding salt and pepper yet to this until the very end. Again, this sausage is very well seasoned and I don't want to over salt. So I will let it cook. Before I put the cabbage in, I'll give it a good taste and make sure. And then the last things I do is the paprika, the cayenne pepper, and the, look what I mean, knows. That, this is the very last thing and the sweetener packet. But this just needs to cook down. I need to let the asparagus cook a little bit. Now I don't need it completely soggy, but I definitely need the beef or the pork, I don't know why I keep calling it beef, the pork cooked all the way through. This uh, cabbage will cook up pretty quickly, especially this cabbage. Uh, ooh, I have a head of cabbage and I ran it through my food processor on the shred and it's a really fine shred. I think next time I'll do it on a slice, but it doesn't matter. I'm also boiling eggs because I'm getting ready to video for you guys. A, um, we're gonna try a couple egg dyeing kits, two of the egg dyeing kits from the Dollar Tree see how we how well they work out for us all right I mean this is real time here guys pork is cooked sausage cooked vegetables not cooked but I'm adding a whole head of cabbage now, I didn't need to put it in a bag. I'll wash this bag out. It has vegetables in it. I can reuse that. But this will cook down. Now, this part takes a little longer, but this will cook down. It's gonna render a lot of liquid. Oh, and if you want, you can totally uh, drain the fat. I don't typically, especially the Aldi, it's not, oh, this one was not overly fatty. So I'm just going to let this simmer for a little while, simmer away here on the stove, get everybody cooking, and I'll bring you back when I season it at the end. We're doing good here, guys. See, it's very dry now, which is good. So we're going to add some liquid aminos, and I'm going to add the equivalent of a couple tablespoons. This is a lot here. A lot of, you know, meat and stuff. There we go, a couple tablespoons of that. And this will absorb too into the cabbage. It helps change its color. Um, I don't eat carrots too much just because they're really high in sugar, but if you do, you put the shredded carrot in here. Honestly, like I said, you could put any vegetable in here you want. And I'm just putting a tiny bit of cayenne just to give it a little heat. I don't have any like Asian peppers. And then what I like the paprika for is just a little smokiness to it. It's just smoked. These are smoked bell peppers, I believe. Ooh, cat medicine. You don't need that. And that's it. It's done. And I will tell you, it is delicious. I'm going to taste some for you here in a second. But it's good. That's it. So quick, so easy. I'll eat this, you know, for several days. If I'm feeling feisty, I'll put a hard boiled egg on top of it, maybe for dinner one night. But that's it, it's complete. It takes less than 20 minutes. And it's, you know, full of veg, full of nutrients. For me, it has some fat. All right, here we go. Sorry, get you even here. All right, we're gonna taste it. It's hot. Ooh, crazy hair. I'm still wearing my Valentine's. I just did a Dollar Tree haul. My stove is hot. And I'm boiling eggs. Mmm. So good. So good. So here's my little tip for you. Hot. Not spicy hot. Hot, hot. Temperature hot. Whoo, that was hot. Um, don't add the salt. Don't add salt to it until after you've added the liquid aminos, just like soy sauce. It's very salty. 
and cayenne is typically, you know, it's very optional because it's, um, you know, spicy, it's sausage. So that was delicious. I'm getting ready to put this away, clean up my kitchen, and then I got a couple more videos to make. Oh, oh, I'll be back. Look at my shadows. I feel like Wilson, the neighbor. Hi, neighbors. I'm sitting up here in my office. I'm editing videos. And I just realized I forgot to sign off on this one after I cooked. Ah, it's been a busy weekend. We are expecting snow tonight, tomorrow. Tonight and tomorrow, and then tomorrow into Tuesday, I think a total of like eight inches, and both my thumbs cracked. I know. And this finger, and this finger, and this finger. I'm ready for summer. I'm ready for moisture. Moist, I said it. All right, well, I'm going to edit this video. I just wanted to say goodbye. I'm looking forward to this week. I have a huge Dollar Tree haul coming up tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, you're going to see we did a, re uh, we, the cats and I, did a review of the Dollar Tree uh, Easter egg dye. Um, I dyed up about a dozen eggs and I want to show you my results. All right, everybody, you hope you have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.